Well, good morning, everyone. It's actually evening here. And uh, I'm just messing around on the guitar, but I've been thinking about some of the comments that everybody has put out uh, about wanting to understand my style of picking. And uh, sometimes it's hard to, to explain something, you know, to break it down so that you can show it um, because it's not something that I, I think it's sort of evolved for me, the things that I do when I'm uh, for this hand here. A lot of it was just out of necessity because I didn't know any other way. Um, so I ended up doing certain things, maybe they're habits. But there is one thing that I learned that... Um, it's, it's sort of by the book, and, and it stuck with me, um, and I've applied it throughout all of my years of playing guitar, um, and that is that, that very thing that where your thumb is dedicated to that E, A, D, or, or strings 6, 5, and 4, right? And then strings 3, 2, and 1, those are taken care of by these three fingers, so your pointer finger has string three, your uh, middle finger has string two, and your ring finger owns the high E, the first string. Okay, and so you, you have to teach your fingers that, that, that those belong to them, that that's their job. <laughs> but getting your fingers to connect with your brain is another whole story. You have to repeat it over and over and over again. I know there's some study out there of how many times you have to repeat something before you master it. I, I, I need to go back and look, but it's a, it's a pretty outrageous number. But nevertheless, you have to put in so many hours to get it to get it mastered. I don't even know that I have it mastered, but I can live with it. <laughs> I'm learning every day, so and, and some days I'm better than others. Some days I'll sit down and play and I can't I can't get my fingers to do anything. So what is that? I don't know. But some days it just some days it just sort of flows and it's like, oh boy, this is good. But uh, but it's all in that that finger style all has to do with the dedication. these fingers and having ownership to their strengths. <laughs> and, 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 and what happens is you, you get so used to it. It just becomes natural, and you don't think about it, and and you find yourself just doing things um, uh, on the fly. Basically, you're not thinking about, oh, I have to do this finger next and that finger next, because it just becomes a part of you. And 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 when you're playing music, you express yourself with the tool that you have. So I'm going to show you um, some, just some tools or some exercises that you can do that will help you kind of develop it, okay? And uh, let me see how we can go with this. Let's start with the first one. Let's start with getting these fingers to do their job. Well, you know, I don't know if you ever noticed, but um, when, when it came to the piano, I think everybody on this earth knows how to play chopsticks on the piano. Tell me you don't know. If, if, if you don't, it's okay. <laughs> but I don't play piano. My father was a great piano player, but I don't play piano. Um, uh, and so I have one in the house and I know how to play chopsticks. And I did take some piano lessons, but I, I just, it's just something that never developed with me. Um, but um, maybe it's because my father played it and my mother played it. Maybe I wanted to be different, and I got the guitar. Um, actually, I started with the violin, and then I got the guitar. But anyways, uh, you know, it 
the piano, the one thing I do know is chopsticks. And I, I learned that. My brother knew it. My sister knew it. Everybody could come over and play chopsticks. And so I thought, uh, years ago, I got to thinking about the guitar. I thought, I wonder if I can play chopsticks on the guitar. And it turns out you, you there is probably a number of ways to play it because it's a, it's actually a waltz. It's in a three, four time. Um, and, and so there's a lot of different ways to play it, but I, I'm just gonna show you a way that you can use it to train these fingers, okay? These three fingers for these three strings. And here's how you do it. Okay, so let's play the first note of, of, of chopsticks. You're gonna go to the second second string and on the first fret, which is the C, you're gonna put, put your pointer finger, okay? And then on the third string, you're gonna do the B, B flat. I think that's B flat. Yeah, it is. Okay. Sometimes I have to test it out. There it is right there. So now these two fingers are dedicated to strings two and three, right? And you're you're having to play strings two and three together here. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's actually a waltz, okay? Uh, so it's a three, four time. What does that mean? Well, uh, you, you have three beats in a measure and every quarter note gets one beat. Do you remember that? Okay. Well, anyway, so. Okay. Get those fingers to do that. Okay, so here's how it goes. It goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we're going to go to the next. We're just going to pick up that ring finger and lay down just behind it on the third string, second fret. Put your middle finger. Okay. Now you're going to get your ring finger involved here in your picking because now you're going to put, pick up. Well, actually, you don't have to pick it up if you don't want to, but you're going to just play the strings one and two just, just the way it is. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you're going to roll over and pick up um, the F right there with the first fret. See, so I'm playing two strings with that one. With that one finger is playing two strings. And then this, again, these two fingers, the ring and the... Uh, the middle finger. Okay, so we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then you're just going to play single notes. So it's e, uh, F, F, open E. Then go to the second fret, uh, second string, third fret, and then back to the beginning again. Now you know chopsticks on the guitar. It's not just for the piano. But the reason why you're doing that is because you're teaching your fingers. You belong to these strings. And when you play that, remember, these two fingers are doing this part. When you go over to, to pick up strings one and two, make sure you're using the right fingers. And then when you do the single notes... So that, that's just a little thing that you can do to practice, okay? And let me just show you one more. It's something that kind of goes with um, the G chord, okay? Let's play a little G here. What you're going to do is, you're, uh, this time you're going to have to use your thumb and, uh, well, and your middle finger. I have to think about this. So 
basic, we're going to just do some two finger fill-ins, okay? So you're going to take your, uh, your pointer finger and it's going to be on the second string and you're going to go all the way up to the eighth fret. And then you're going to take your middle finger and put it on the fourth string and go up to the ninth fret. So you actually got a formation of an A minor seventh, right? There's A minor seventh. What you're doing is you're just bringing it up here to the eighth fret. Okay? So you're going to play your middle finger, your pointer, and then your thumb. Your thumb is taking care of that fourth string. What you're going to do is you're going to make move up one fret with your middle finger just go up to uh to uh, 10 right fret 10 and then your ring finger is going to go on the second string so you're making like an a seventh it's like an a seventh except it's up here on the 10th fret and then you'll slide that up to the 12th fret so now you have this. Okay, you got that? Go back. And you're teaching your fingers and your thumbs to, to work together. Start with your with your middle finger. Middle finger, pointer, and then your thumb. can go all up and down the fingerboard uh, but I'm just showing you little pieces of it you can see that Just for now, just to teach yourself to do, use these fingers as the purpose of it. And go down to G. Okay, and if you want, you just do two fingers at a time. In terms of plucking, just pluck with your middle finger and your thumb. Okay. All right. So take those things and uh, practice them. See if they help you out some. Um, uh, I know some of this stuff can get a little bit on the boring side, and uh, but it's just, it's like taking medicine. It's just necessary. You got to teach your thumb to do these things. You have to get your thumb used to. The only way you can do that is practice, practice, practice. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to end it right there. And um, I hope your Monday goes well for you. Or I don't know, for some of you, it might be, it might be Tuesday. <laughs> I'm not sure. I get kind of mixed up in terms of what goes on in other parts of the world. But it's a smaller world when it comes to this computer, I'll tell you. Anyways, I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are in this world.